Hello everyone, welcome back to another island tour on the JV and Millie channel. I'm JV and today we're going to be touring the amazing island of Pangala. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. But the vibe of this is that it's kind of partly based on Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, but also just films in general. So we're going to be enjoying all the cool dinosaur stuff in this video, but also going to play like guess the film if that makes sense. So. Here we have our first kind of look. It's kind of blocked out there. But I'm wondering if this is going to be a downloadable custom design by the end of it. I think that would be absolutely awesome to be able to take that back with us. Let's talk. Oh, there we go. Amber. Women inherit the earth. Hey. Amen. Amen. Um. Ooh. Is this a plesiosaurus? I, I'm almost going to half flex my knowledge. I don't know. It's a waterosaurus. That's something that I'm half sure on. I mean, let's get a picture of it because, oh my gosh. Whoa. How did I do that? Wow. I assume that's a new update thing that I've just discovered live on camera there, but cool. A bit gory there, but ultimately, that's actually amazing. So you'd imagine that this is kind of in the middle of the escape. There's walls there. Clearly, someone's escaped their enclosure a bit, but we're going to continue around this hand side. Just before I get too carried away. There's some cool custom designs there. Oh, it's like a tiki bar. So I'm not sure if this is meant to be film stuff as well. Because then I can like speculate Lilo and Stitch. Surf's up. Jaws? Yeah, this is definitely Jaws. So, this is almost like a Universal Studios island. Because I believe when that last time I went to Universal Studios, years ago now, there was a Jaws ride, which was kind of like a core memory, I still remember. It like was on a, a buggy, and it took you into the water, and a mechanical Jaws swam next to you. And that was the same place where obviously there was like the Jurassic World roller coaster and stuff. I'm in two minds about this. Obviously, I'm thinking Godzilla, but the kind of New York setting that it seems to be going for is kind of reminding me of, um, oh, what's it called? King Kong. And like, oh, obviously, we don't have an Empire State Building in the game. So could that be what that is? But ultimately, I think Godzilla. Although I think Godzilla was Japan, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting confused. A really cool setting on the list, though. Especially when you consider its perspective. You see how small the airplane is. Obviously, I think it was meant to be there to simulate a real airplane as opposed to, you know, it's a toy like it's meant to be in the game. And obviously, on top of that, the scope of Godzilla himself is just crazy. Look at that. That looks kind of daunting. And I was instantly speculating, this is kind of like Mulan, maybe? Like, the walkway towards the ancestors? But Again, if I'm sticking on the universal theme, it could be something like Karate Kid or something that I'm not really too familiar with. But it's great nonetheless. Oh, nice. This is sweet. Oh. Okay. Okay, wow. Whoa. This is like di the dinosaur versus dinosaur, T Rex versus T Rex. Like, holy heck! Like that shot alone. 
is just so cinematic. I think I might be in love with this island. I want to check for a way up because it looks like there's stuff going on the level above us as well. Is this the way? I think it may be a way. Although perhaps not the intended one. Okay, there's another kind of Godzilla monster there. Again though, it could be a Dominion reference, the more I think about it, with, I guess, spoiler alert for Fallen Kingdom, the ending of that. With the dinosaurs being unleashed, that could have been a sign in and of itself, you know, like, they're in the world. Like, they could be in the near the Statue of Liberty now. Oh my gosh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is my jam. It's the one classic film franchise that kind of is universally loved that I've not convinced Millie to watch with me yet. Okay, so I'm gonna, it, for all it might not seem like that, I'm gonna attempt to link all of these back to Indiana Jones at some point. I think that this is gonna be one of the rooms in the college that he teaches at. Cause you can see there's the hat there. There's a suitcase for when he goes out for adventures. Equally, we've got the world, because he travels the world and there's that, that iconic setting, you know, where the kind of red line follows where he's going. And back then he needed the projectors to kind of tell people what's up. So let's go into this first. We'll go around that way, then the back room, then the right room, and then up and down, because we always like to finish with the spooky, potentially spooky basements. And again, this, I'm thinking, isn't meant to be a house within Indiana Jones. This is like scenes from Indiana Jones. And so this is very, like, not Temple of Doom, the first one I'm thinking of, I think. Oh, I just, the, what I always think about though, in terms of Indiana Jones is the Lego game. I spent hours playing on Lego Indiana Jones, the first game. I played it on the Nintendo Wii and I poured hours into it. I think that was going through films one, two, and three. Favorite level was probably the Shanghai Showdown level. Ooh. So this is gonna be Jurassic again, obviously. This is reminding me of like the Dominion prelude. I want to try and find a way to convince Smash to watch this video because I know he loves Jurassic World and everything. And in fact, I don't want to start anything because I know it's a bit on the divisive side, but I kind of try and ask one question per island or, and this is going to be, did you end up wa watching Jurassic World Dominion? If so, what did you think about it? Let us know in the comment section down below and let's try and start a respectful dialogue because I know a lot of people didn't like it. I know, Smash loved it, Millie and I loved it, so, I don't know. I mean, I, I, this isn't going to turn into a review, but I can't 100% see the disappointment in that. The end of the, the Fallen Kingdom movie, it was Dinosaurs Are Unleashed. And that kind of massive groundbreaking reveal in the next one is watered down to... Oh my gosh, look, there's a dinosaur on TikTok and some weird stuff's happening. And then it's kind of its own separate story. Like, I think it could only have been that, really. But, I don't know. I, d I get the disappointment. Maybe Pirates of the Caribbean, this one? Or even a reference to Temple of Doom where they eat the monkey hair. But I think the problem with Dominion is they could have totally made a movie about the kind of dinosaur apocalypse. And I think people would have liked that a bit better. But I think in terms of studio format, they weren't, well, weren't going to have it. Because you could not have that story in that scope. This is awesome. And keep Chris Pratt on board along with, you know, Claire. It's a bit like, it's a bit like Planet of the Apes. So, um, the kind of reboot James Franco Planet of the Ape movie ended with the kind of virus spreading. Now, they could have a very personal story in the next one, montaging the virus, but then making it about James Franco and his family. 
living in a post-virus world. And I think that still had potential, that storyline. But I think people would have gone, oh, this was meant to be this great thing, and now we've got a personal story about James Franco dealing with the virus. Whereas what they actually did, which I think is what Jurassic World people wanted, very dramatic montage about the virus taking over. Huge in scope, you know, they got, I think it was archive footage from um, Barack Obama. I don't know if they actually got him to do it. I'd be surprised if they did, but maybe archive footage from Barack Obama. And then it was a completely new set of survivors. And the story, whilst personal, it kind of did enough to make you seem like the world was completely changed from it. That it had that right. I think if the dinosaurs had completely wrecked the planet and there'd been a more serious montage at the start, I think people would have been more susceptible to a more personal story within such a huge, you know, after a huge aftermath. I don't know, I probably just chatted out my bum for for ages there, but that's kind of how I see it, like comparing Jurassic World and Planet of the Apes that had, you know, that left stories off with a similar impact and then went on to tell personal stories. So this Subnautica, I'll be honest, I have no clue what this is in reference to. So I'm just going to enjoy the aesthetic. What is that? Oh, oh no! Have I hurt it? Normally, I can just turn the lights on and off. Have I damaged this creature? Oh no! I have to wait for it to settle. Okay, okay, I like that. So again, we'll kind of approach this house similarly in terms of rooms. But again, I, I don't know much about what this is trying to get at. Clearly something involving aliens. I recognize this alien some, for some reason. And of course, space station, spaceship. Oh. This is alien, right? Now, this is actually just the alien movie. Unless I've made an awful error in judgment. Because that's that a kind of iconic alien versus predator creature. I think anyway. I mean, let me know in the comments because it's kind of like there's that black one with the big head, isn't there? No. So, let's see. Because for all there was a sign outside, a bit like the Indiana Jones house, maybe there's going to be a variety of extraterrestrial alien films here. Which I, I, I'm decent with sci fi. Ooh. So, this is like that. that nautical one. I don't know what it is. Let's try and get a better look. I'm getting the vibe of giant squid. Like something with a massive eye. Yeah. It's really cool design wise. Again I'm curious to see if that's going to be something that we can download at the ATM. It'd be really impressive if the island creators made all of that. And this room is, oh gosh. What kind of spooky experiments going on here. That's a new item I've never seen before, but it's awesome. Well, that's disappointing on the game side. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. I was gonna say, disappointing on the game side to not let you interact with that and turn it on or at least close the lid. But the fact that that's like a bed is awesome. Are you going to get more of those predators there? I can't believe it, I was about to criticise Nintendo on them. My mind gets blown. Can I just sit down here and get out of the way? No. Oh well. Just going to casually ruin the photo, JB. And now we're going to check out if this house has a attic and a basement. This is, uh, okay, it has a basement. I'm predicting this is going to be a spooky one. That's my prediction. Okay. Again, definitely vibes of experimentation. This is kind of reminding me of like a Stranger Things room with the submersion tank. 
kind of specimen, and of course a place where they can sleep, and you know, analysis. So yeah, definitely vibes of experimentation, Stranger Things vibes. This reminded me a bit of the Institute book by Stephen King. Quite a recent one, but I do recommend that one. So if you do like kind of horror books or like thrilling books, definitely the Institute by Stephen King. Check it out. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking again. Jurassic. Because of the... But then... What is this in reference to? I don't know. I'm not a, ju a Jurassic expert. Huh, this is interesting. Very interesting. If anyone knows, please say in the comment section. Because instantly I was thinking of the section in, again, I think, Fallen Kingdom, where the lava starts to like seep into the one of the caverns and they have to climb up the ladder really quickly to escape from it. But, you know. Okay, cool. Ooh. That's horror. Oh yeah, closer look at this. Hmm, it's surprising that even with like, oh, it's not like we do the update angle this time. Is there a way to trigger it? Does it just have to be like that? No, like this? Oh, that's strange. Someone's gonna have to... Again, we're just catching up on, like, the Animal Crossing games, like, new stuff at the moment. So, I do apologise if I'm asking you guys a lot of questions about the ins and the outs of the game. I'm just, like, completely lost when it comes to stuff like that new camera angles. The fact that it did work on some occasions and didn't on others. No theories going into this house. There's a gnome... Gnome on Juliet? Goosebumps? I don't know anything else that has a gnome in it. I do apologise. Holy... When dinosaurs ruled the earth. I sometimes have like weird moments where I think, like, imagine you're an alien. You come to earth and it's like dinosaurs version of earth. How cool. Like, imagine if we had no knowledge on dinosaurs. They say they didn't exist. The fossils weren't found. But we just... Went as far, as far as we could in terms of human capability to, for space travel. We entered the atmosphere of a planet. And, you know, on our planet... Oh, okay, is this the iconic cafeteria scene? I think it is. But us on our planet, we're like, oh, aliens don't exist. They'll be a lot more advanced than us or whatever. But say we just emerge, jungle everywhere. And the first sign of other life we see is a T-Rex. And bear in mind, we've got no knowledge of what a T-Rex is, what it looks like, what... And, and that's just the first thing we see on another planet. We look to the right-hand side, there's a Diplodocus, or a Diplodocus, however you pronounce it. And then you've got a Motosaurus just in the water. Like, like just put that into perspective. We once had the most mind-blowing island, like, the, the island, the most mind-blowing planet to an alien... And again, I'm not taking away from humans. We would be equally blown away if there was something with structures like ours, buildings. There was a movie theater showing some, you know what I mean? Again, I'm not taking away from the technology side. But you have to admit that in terms of what people would like, because I think we'd be more scared if we met another planet like us. Depending on what you're making, what would make people go, oh my gosh, this is crazy. 100% dinosaur planet. So it's just weird. For all we're doubting that life, a strange life could exist on another planet. Well, I think a lot stranger has lived on ours over time. Like, look at that. Imagine that on another planet. 
that's exactly how we kind of picture the wildest aliens to look like now, so... I don't know, it could happen. It could happen. Oh, ring fit again. Reminding me that I need to do it today. And this is a lot like, I guess, genetics, you know. Oh, there's the egg about to hatch. This is, I think, more Jurassic World versus Park. Because this is the road to the Indominus, I think. This is cool. And now basement. Let me think, what could the basement be in a Jurassic house? I guess a dig site as an option. Oh, what is that? It's like a raptor. What's the significance of the tarantula and the scorpion there? I think what it was possibly getting at is almost tying it into the law of Animal Crossing, because the most dangerous thing is either the tarantula or the scorpion in terms of Animal Crossing when you're walking about at night. It could almost show, like, the top predators over time. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. I just can't get over that. I could just talk for hours about dinosaurs. Is that it? I mean, that's not rude to the island. I mean, is this like IT? It? Pennywise the Clown? And this is meant to be Georgie's boat? I think it is. I think it is. I respect that. So, was it the alternate route that I didn't take? It is. Okay. We'll check the ATM after. Cool island flag. Oh, there's another creator. Subnautica and aliens. Yes. So I got the aliens part right. And I don't know anything about Subnautica, so I apologize on that front. Okay, so I'm kind of just going around in circles. So let's just continue this way. Okay, of course, we got the museum there. Pretty cool. Ooh, more dinosaur warnings. Oh, the footprints. Oh, gosh. This is reminding me of the start of Jurassic World 2, I think, with on um, Isla Sauna. With the little, little dinosaurs. Oh, how cool would it be if there was water items and you could literally have like a Loch Ness monster just buy that into at your own risk site? That would be like Universal Studio. No. Ooh, caution. East Dock. Is this a house or is this a villager? No, it's So I think that is our island today. I mean, I've been completely blown away by the quality of this. This is absolutely incredible, but would you like to visit for yourself? I mean, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that. So if you want to visit the amazing, beautiful island of Pangea, then please use the dream address 20001449. 9808 so that's 20001449 thank you so much for watching huge respect to this island make sure to give it some love in the comment section down below and if you do want to see more animal crossing islands then please like 
comment and subscribe to JBN Millie and we'll see you next time.